Hello YouTube, Trev here, Summit or Nothing, continuing our review of the tents and shelters of Summit or Nothing. In this, the fourth episode of the series, it's yet another tarp shelter to have a look at, and that is the DD Hammocks 3x3 three three meter Superlight Tarp. So here we are, this is my home for the night, Trev's in a tarp. Both Nathan and myself have purchased one of these tarps, so we've had some pretty extensive trial and error out on the trail, and in all seasons too. We've been looking at the weather, and it gives five o'clock heavy rain coming in. And then it suddenly dawned on me to check the wind. They give the wind getting up as much as 45 miles an hour. DD hammocks are another brand that is popular among the lightweight bushcrafters and hikers, with a variety of hammocks, tarps and teepees to offer, across a variety of sizes and weights. The Superlight tarp comes in at an amazing weight of 490 grams, excluding pegs and guy lines, making it a fine option for the ultralight hiker out there, but it is one of their pricier tarps at £70. As usual, those grams cut come at a price. The lightweight version of this tarp is only £40, but then weighs 790 grams, so an additional £10 spent for every 100 grams saved. For many, weight may not be an issue, and so the £30 saving may well be preferable. The Superlight tarp also compacts into a really small drawstring stuff sack, and so takes up hardly any room in your backpack either, especially when compared to many tents, although this can be a little frustrating trying to fit your tarp back into it. The fun part is the fact that they give you the world's tiniest bag to put it in, trying to get it back in there is always a nightmare. I've packed up the tarp, you see? But look at this. I managed to get it back in my pack. Nathan's gone his. He said that's the first time he's done it, and I've done mine as well. The DD Hammock Superlight tarp, having that extra two square meters over the army surplus that we reviewed previously, already is a vast improvement, giving more options for style of shelter, therefore more scope and a greater living space. This is just the one setup. This is just the first setup. There are loads more type setups. There's like a pyramid setup where the front seals right the way up. So if it was extreme weather, you would be able to protect yourself completely. I had absolutely no intention of tarp camping at all until I took a look inside Nathan's and was impressed by the room inside. Trev stuck his nose in the door and sort of seen the space. God, you've got loads of room in there as well. Although we both went for the olive green version, this tarp comes in a variety of earthy colours, making it ideal for any stealth campers. And it's made with ripstop nylon with a tape central seam and is coated in waterproofer making it incredibly watertight and durable against the weather. It comes with 19 attachment points to give a great scope for the setup options. And also included in the pack is guy lines and four lightweight pegs. Although this wasn't really enough pegs for us, so we purchased more. I found some great lightweight pegs for under a tenner at AliExpress. There are many different ways to set up your tarp shelter, for use with hammocks or just as day shelters, although we've always used the tarp tent design for our camps, which using our hiking poles gives great coverage down to the ground and allows you to set the opening as low as you like to keep out any weather. The setup is relatively easy too, simply pegging out the tarp to the ground and climbing in and erecting the poles. It's as easy as the person putting it up makes it come apart because you overextended it. No, just keep falling down. It's like it's not tall enough. Pass me a pole. Now, just the top. Everyone else's hiking poles in the world will work, but not Trev. The tension of the tent over the poles keep the poles upright. And as mentioned before, the room inside is impressive. Easily enough room for two men and their gear. The tent shelter setup that we have used has been put to the test against the harsh gale force winds of Dartmoor on numerous occasions, and despite a lot of movement, it has thoroughly held its ground. It's about half nine. We're really into the into the rough stuff now. I don't know if you can see this. It's my hiking pole. It's propping up the tent. And on an unrecorded adventure with my son at the start of last summer, to wake up and look out at the sunrise from the comfort of your bed was a memorable experience. But of course, with any tarp shelter, the comfort level is compromised by being open to the elements. An extra consideration is required with regards to the positioning and the weather. I think I might have faced it slightly the wrong way. I don't think I paid enough attention to the direction of the wind. If I'd have rotated it another sort of 30 degrees clockwise, it would have got rid of the wind a bit coming in, but... A decent bivy bag is required, and preferably one that is breathable and waterproof. And during the summer months, one with a mozzie mesh hood wouldn't go amiss either as myself and Nate found out a top hound tour in the midst of a baking summer. Just woke up, so I'm in trouble, I can swipe me on the back of the 
Yeah. It was me. There is no ground sheet. There's no mozzie mesh door or anything like that. You know, creepy crawlies can get at you in here. You have to bear that in mind. The tarp shelter also comes without a ground sheet of any kind. Another creature comfort that you take for granted in a tent, but can cause problems if you set up in the wrong location. Something else discovered the hard way on our adventures. So, basically, my roll mat's like a pontoon floating in the lake, just a puddle. My feet are wet, soaked from a baby bag. It's only one o'clock in the morning. I haven't had that much sleep. Quite happily go home now. Pretty much f***ed off with the whole adventure. So now let's start the scoring to see whereabouts the DD Hammock Superlight Tarp fits in with the rest of our tents. Price. At £70, it is a little pricey for a tarp, but as mentioned, it's still a decent price when compared to tents, but then additional costs come into play, such as pegs, hiking poles and bivy bags. 7 out of 10. Weight. This is where the ultralight tarp is an excellent choice, as weighing in at less than half a kilogram is a massive weight saver, especially considering the room it gives you to reside in and the space it saves in your backpack. 10 out of 10. Practicality. As I said, the space under the tarp and the space saved in your backpack are definite pros for this shelter, and it's easy to erect, but packing it back into this handy sized stuff sack is not the easiest, especially if you want the pegs in there too. 7 out of 10. Comfort. This is a spacious design that feels more like a tent than a shelter, with plenty of room within, however the lack of fly sheet or ground sheet means that you are more likely to be invaded by weather or creepy crawlies. 6 out of 10. Durability. It's light but well made. It has withstood a battering against the winds on numerous occasions, and as long as you consider where you set up and what direction it faces, it should keep the worst of the weather at bay. 8 out of 10. Which means that the DD Hammock Tarp Shelter scores 38 out of 50, nudging it to the top of our leaderboard above the Van Gogh Mirage.